I'll go over now how we look at alerts and conclusions. The best way to see it here is if we go to the deception activity page. This basically covers all the uh, relevant activity that happens with the decoys. Uh, we have conclusions, alerts. You can show the assets that interacted with the decoys. You can show the decoys that you had assets interacting with them. Uh, and we can also show credential accesses, meaning what credentials were used to access the decoy, which were successful, which were not. And we can also show uploaded files. Uh, any, up, any file that was uploaded to the decoy, we uh, sent to our sandbox for investigation. And based on the report coming back, uh, we can uh, increase the severity of the alerts. If I go into one of the uh, alerts for conclude, or one of the conclusions for a decoy activity, this is the shared folder manipulation alert. So if I open this, I'll see all the information that's relevant, uh, basically all of the events or all the indicators uh, for this attack. So we have some uh, login attempts where we actually see the user. Uh, we have some um, basic uh, access to the shared folder. For example, here we have uh, uh, running domain info in order to get information about the domain on the shared folder. Uh, and we also have... Yeah. And we also have here uh, uh, going to a specific folder to the, uh, C, to the C folder and actually getting information about that folder. Anything that's happening on the application level with regards to the decoy is monitored in an alert that's then aggregated into a conclusion. Uh, in case of uh, uh, shared folders, it'll be which files were accessed, which were read, which were wrote. In case of web, it'll be the URLs, the user agent, the headers. Uh, in case of SSH, it will be the actual commands that were run uh, and what came back. It will be the ways that it authenticated. If I want to in investigate deeper, I'll go to the asset page from here. This is the asset that did the attack. If I go into that page, I'll basically show you everything or all the information that we have about this asset with regards to the attack. Uh, so we have the conclusions, the alerts, uh, a timeline of when that happened with the uh, uh, with this asset, we have the same conclusions and alerts that we saw before. We also have all the other information about the asset based on the terrain. So we have the communication channels that this asset is using. We have information about the internal traffic, about the external traffic, the incoming traffic, uh, and also the internal traffic. In the internal traffic, uh, you'll notice there's uh, straight lines and dotted lines. The straight lines are for real traffic that happened between other assets and this asset. The dotted line are for breadcrumbs that were deployed um, from this asset to the decoy. So that'll bring us to the fact that we can see this asset, who interacts with it, who this interacts with, and what path exists from this asset to any of the decoys. Uh, 